Self-Reliance. Self-Reliance is a new dark comedy. It's a dark comedy, uh, very unique. Um, it was actually directed and written by uh, Jake Johnson. Jake Johnson, who is, he plays the protagonist. His name was Tommy. Uh, Jake Johnson was also on the TV show New Girl for from 2011 to 2018. Um, he was in a bunch of different shit. But anyway, so the protagonist is 40 years old. Uh, he's in a rut. He's in a creative rut. He's in a personal rut. He's in a romantic rut. He's just in a complete rut in his life. And he basically fell off after basically being estranged or broken up from his girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, after two years. So the film starts off with him doing the same routine over and over again. He wakes up, he works out. He wakes up, he looks at this photo of him and his ex-girlfriend like they're still together. And then we grow to find out uh, after, two, after two years, they haven't been together. Two years. This woman has moved on, she's had a kid, all different type of shit, okay? And this guy has not moved on from it since whatsoever. So this dude, he's 40 years old. His name's Tommy. Uh, he's living at his mom's house. He's just in a creative, personal rut. And we all can relate to that. I don't care how uh, much of an overachiever you are, how productive you are. You all, we all have places in our life where we are in a rut. But you don't want this rut to last too long. So this film was actually adopted from... Uh, an essay written by Ralph Waldo Emerson, which came out in the 1800s. Basically, the crust of this film is uh, he's walking home from work and Tommy gets picked up by Andy, Andy Sandberg, who was in SNL, Saturday Night Live and all that good stuff. Um, and he drops him off at a warehouse where he says, look, if you want to make a million dollars, you know, let me know if you want to do this game or not. So he said, all right, cool. So he drops him off at an abandoned warehouse. And at the abandoned warehouse, he walks in there and he meets these two. I think these guys are Finnish or uh, something. I don't know. Some kind of European shit. They had to definitely have like kind of the Swedish or Finnish or Dutch accent. Um, excuse me if I'm wrong with that. But they tell him, hey, if you want to be a part of this game as a part of the dark web, you got 30 days to stay alive and we're going to send assassins your way and we'll give you a million dollars if you can stay alive for 30 days. And they said, the only caveat is this. If you always have somebody around, the assassins cannot pursue you. So this whole film is about him becoming one with people. He makes friends with this homeless guy who plays, uh, his name is James, who is uh, Biff Whiff. That's his name. Or Bill is his name. Biff Whiff, that's his name. So I just pulled it up on my computer. Um, he's a homeless guy and he's like, hey, I'll pay you if you stay with me and you know, nothing happens to me. So he's like, all right, cool. So he's taking this dude to work with him and all type of shit. And then eventually he meets uh, Anna Kendrick and they're together, but not to give the movie away. It's basically, you know, his family doesn't believe him. You know, he's got two sisters and a brother-in-law and they don't believe him. And there are a couple of attempts on his life. This film is, like I said, it's very dark. I didn't expect a lot out of it, honestly. It's on Hulu. So if you want to check it out, it's on Hulu. Um, but I would say this, man, this film is, I guess it's a decent film, you know? I, and I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this. On IMDB, they gave it a 3.5. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, they gave it a 72%. Meta uh, Metacritic gave it 60. I don't give a fuck. And I want, you, I want you to hear me when I say this. This is my critique. Kevin Robinson Jr. I don't give a fuck what IMDb said, Rotten Tomatoes said, Metacritic says. And this goes for every movie that I critique. I have my own fucking mind. I don't need some critic, some fucking nerd that works for Rotten Tomatoes to tell me whether I'm going to watch a film or not. I'm going to watch the movie regardless. So what I give the film, I give it a 77. 
It was a decent film. I think Jake Johnson, um, he has a, I think he's going to have a pretty decent career as a filmmaker. Um, this movie came out under Andy Sandberg's production company. Uh, I think it's Lonely Island. Um, but shit, man, I thought it was a decent film. It's a dark comedy. It's, it's original. Um, it wasn't the best film. It wasn't terrible. It was a little bit above satisfactory, 77%. So I would suggest check it out for yourself. But don't expect me when I do these damn critiques to be, oh, IMDb says 6.1. I don't give a fuck what IMDb said. All right? If you're looking for some nerd ass motherfucker to give you the same critiques that IMDb or LA Times, New York Times, then motherfuckers might say something's a 99% and I might think it's ass. It's my goddamn critiques. You did? So like, share, comment, subscribe.